FEMA says it's pouring millions into housing assistance, small businesses, and flood insurance for eastern Kentuckians. But many flood victims say they're still homeless with no aid. Danielle Miskell spent the day in Whitesburg following up with one flood victim we first met back in August. How many times have you applied uh, for assistance with FEMA? Uh, probably over 15 times. We first met Nadine Haynes back in August. She came to this clinic to meet with Lexington lawyers who offered help figuring out why her FEMA applications were being denied. Since then, she hasn't had much better luck with FEMA. Every time I come out, I need another paper. I need another form. But now I've got enough to write a book on. <laughs> Haynes was directed to the Kentucky Farm Bureau to get proof that she didn't have flood insurance. She took it back to FEMA, but her applications were continuing to be denied. So she tried applying for a loan through the Small Business Administration, but was also denied. I thought it's because my age is 59 and um, it's a 30-year fixed rate, so they would be out money if they loaned me any. And uh, I asked for additional assistance probably about uh, two weeks ago. I'm running out of options. It's been more than two months of waiting, so she's been forced to take matters into her own hands. I probably paid out of the pocket probably about $3,000. $4,000 over time. One of the biggest issues Nadine has been dealing with is just getting to and from her home. The floods washed away her driveway, and for the last 60 days, she has been needing to use a side-by-side -side to drive through this deep creek just to get to the other side of the main road. It wasn't until about three weeks ago Nadine was able to finally have a gravel driveway put in. Having a driveway again, she was able to hire help with getting debris removed, but the mold trapped in her flooring has gotten so bad, she's still not been able to live at home. With winter approaching and limited contractors, Haynes says she hopes she'll get a letter of approval from FEMA so her floors can be fixed before winter time. I don't know who else I ask. I mean, it really pulls you down to, uh, I'm thankful I got my life, I'm thankful for my children. Uh, I'm thankful for what I do have. Uh, don't want to lose what I've got. Reporting in Whitesburg, Danielle Miskell, Fox 56 News. The deadline for FEMA assistance is October 28th. For more information, visit this story on our website. That's fox56news.com.